Hi, you guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Karen Odd, and these are Karen's Oddities. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome as well. Please like this video, comment your thoughts, even if you disagree with my content, share with someone that you know, and subscribe to my channel. My current stats show that 99.99% of my viewers, even my returning viewers, are not currently subscribed to my channel. So please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Let's get into it. In this video, I want to talk about something that's personal to me and uh, something that I know likely impacts a lot of people out there. I want insight. I want feedback. I want to better navigate this conversation. We're talking hair. And in this video, I wanted to originally have my hair down and natural, um, but I need to wash my hair. So I'm doing this slick back look that is safe. Um, so for a little bit of background, I am biracial. My dad is black. My mom is Mexican. I have curly hair. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. I have curly hair. It's not curly wavy. It's curly. The coils are pretty small. They've gotten bigger over the years because I've treated my hair. I've straightened it so much. Unfortunately, um, I guess I've, uh, modified the original structure of my hair. Um, and uh, when I was younger, so different things that I would do to my hair, uh, my hair would get relaxed. Um, I remember I used to have super long hair. It was like down to my butt. And um, I mean, every once in a while I would go get my hair relaxed and I would get it straightened. And I loved it because it was so easy to work with. Um, not much had to be done to it. It would just, it was straighter, right? When you have curly hair and you get it straight and it just seems so much longer, not straighter, it was longer. It was like, wow, I have such long hair. Um, but I know my mom would struggle, right? My mom is Mexican. Um, she wasn't familiar with working with my type of textured hair. My dad, my parents got divorced when I was about eight. So, and even then, right? Dads don't always really know what to do with hair anyway, or at least girl's hair. Um, so I get it relaxed sometimes. Um, other times my mom would do like little braids or things like that. Um, sometimes I would get it braided if I was going on trips or every once in a while I would get it braided. I enjoyed that as well. Although the lady that would braid it, Frances, shout out to Frances. Great job. Uh, it would get done at her home, but damn would she braid really hard. So oh, it was pretty painful. I'm getting like flashbacks now. Um, but it's been a minute since I've had a braid like to my head. Like now when I get braids, I get um, not list braids. Um, and in my videos, I know I said I wanted to leave my hair natural. Clearly it's not natural here, but, um, you will see different hairstyles and textures of my hair in some of my other videos where I leave it curly. I think I have a video where I have braids on. I'm getting my braids done this week, Thursday, and I cannot wait. I love having my hair braided. Um, so those are kind of the hairstyles that I would have, right? As I started getting older, um, I... My mom was not doing my hair anymore, right? You get to the age where you're becoming more independent as a young person and you're starting to care for yourself differently. But as I was doing my own hair, I didn't know what I was doing, you guys. I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm still struggling to care for my hair, um, to do styles that are good for my hair, to embrace my hair, to use styles and products that actually work for my hair. It's something that I'm still struggling with to this day. I watch a lot of different YouTube videos. Um, I ask my friends that have similar textured hair to me to give me some feedback and tips. Um, I never use wigs or, um, well, just wigs, right? Lace front or non-lace front, I never use wigs. I did use hair extensions and I forgot to mention that. There was a point where I was pretty addicted to hair extensions. So I would like go, I would straighten my hair, fry the shit out of my hair. And then I bought like these Remy, like long ass extensions that were pure black. And then I would put them on. I bought two packs. I would, I've had my hair filled with hair extensions, uh, clip-ons, clip-on hair extensions. Cause I know there's different types. I still have those extensions, right? Cause you can wash them and use them again. Um, but damn, did I wear the shit out of those extensions? I got my money's worth for sure. And I remember one day um, I was at the salon and the lady, um, I go to a Dominican hair salon and they are able to do my hair really well. They're familiar with the texture. Um, and she's like, just stop using your extensions. She's like, you're damaging your hair. Like it's pulling 
every time you have it on, it's the, the weight is pulling and thinning out your hair from the root. So from that point forward, which surprisingly, because I was pretty dependent on them, I just decided, you know what? I'm not using these anymore. I'm going to let my hair do what it's supposed to do. I think that gradually I have started freeing myself from different ideas and ways that my hair is supposed to be, right? Just letting it do what it's supposed to do, right? That's like one of my new sayings of, is it doing what it's supposed to? Like just being free and letting it be what it's supposed to. I have some notes down here that I'm checking in because I want to make sure I cover the different um, subjects as it relates to this topic. So I talked a bit about my background, my experience, like I said, braids, relaxers, um, a lot of straightening, hot comb, um, and extensions. That was kind of the extent of my hair. But then when my mom stopped caring for my hair, not caring for it, but like literally she stopped looking after it and doing it for me, I was left to fend for myself and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Um, so I would like put it in a bun, like often, like all the fucking time I had it in a bun. And um, yeah, I remember kids making fun of me for my hair when I was younger. Um, and after the bun, I started just like putting it in a ponytail, putting it in a ponytail, putting it in a ponytail. And it got to the point where my hair got matted, you guys, because I wasn't detangling it. It was like a big fucking mat. This is so embarrassing that I'm sharing this story because I always used to be super embarrassed about it. But my hair got matted. Like it was a big fucking mat. And then I remember my mom couldn't detangle it. I think I told her I was like crying. And then we went to her friend's house. Her friend's Puerto Rican. She didn't really know how to do my hair either. But they like cut it. They just fucking cut the mat out. And um, I stopped doing that ponytail thing because I got so scared. But I learned that you have to detangle your hair. You can't just put it up. Like if my hair were straight, yeah, I probably could just like wash it and put it up. But when you have curly hair, you have to detangle it. Um, you have to, there's so many things, right? Hair is beautiful. I want to, I want to also mention all hair textures are absolutely beautiful, but it's super important to know how to care for our hair, um, and how to understand based off the texture, based off the density, what your hair needs, what of, what is too much of one product that could damage or change the structure of your hair and not be good for you. Some hair is oily, some it's more dry, etc. And I didn't know any of these things. And I'm still learning these things, right? I'm not an expert in my hair. I'm but I'll get to that in a minute. Um so that was pretty traumatic, right? Um I had that incident where my hair matted, I got cut up and I had like weird length hair. Um then I remember there was one time where this was before my mom transitioned to me doing my own hair. I went and I got it uh, relaxed, you guys. And I kid you not, I kid you not, like I had natural braids down my ass, down to my ass as a kid. And I went and I got it relaxed and my hair was, so, it was down to my ass, straight, beautiful, long, silky hair. And my mom did the big chop. Like we were at the salon and she's like, yes, cut it. Cause my mom had to deal with it. And she's like, this is too much hair for me. And my hair was thick. Like when I tell you, do you see this fern behind me? Oh, this is not even the thick one. The one next to me is a thick fern. This one's kind of nice. That's what my hair would look like, but just double that size, okay? When you'd blow dry it, it'd be like this beautiful lion mane. And I know for my mom, she's just like, this is too much fucking work for me. Like, I got to get to work. I got to get these kids ready. Um, I, I, my mom was a single parent for a long time, so it was a lot for her. But that big chop that my mom did, like, I still, obviously I forgive her because I love my mom, but I still, I'm just like, why would you cut my hair? Like I had hair down to my ass. Like I'm still trying to get it down there. And um, for those of you that are biracial or that are black, you know that it is sometimes difficult for us to grow our hair. And I don't think that our hair grows at a different pace. I just think that our hair has to be cared for differently to get it to a healthy um, level where it's easy for it to grow and to retain that growth, right? We have to make sure it's nourished, that we're getting our ends clipped regularly, that we're not putting too much heat, too much product, etc. And again, I'm not an expert in hair. For those of you that are experts, please comment your thoughts. I'd love to hear them because I'm still learning. Like I said, I'm learning. This is just a video of me explaining my situation, uh, both my experience and my current one, and also to get feedback from those of you that have similar hair texture or that have had similar experiences as my own. Um, I think that as I got older, you know, kind of 
when I freed myself from the hair extensions, I think that that was a moment of acceptance for me, right? Where I'm like, okay, your hair is, does, you don't need these extensions to have full hair. You don't need these extensions to have beautiful hair. And it was part of me accepting that some of these things are damaging my hair. They're not good for me, right? So at that point though, even when I got rid of my hair extensions and using them, because I still have them, I was still going to get my hair done at the salon. I was getting it washed, relaxed and permed, not permed, relaxed and straightened. Um, and then from relaxers a couple of years ago, I moved to the keratin treatments, which is still, at the end of the day, it's still a chemical that's getting into your pores. It's still a chemical that's changing the texture, the original texture of your hair that's modifying the chemical structure of your hair permanently, semi-permanently, right? So I was getting the keratin treatments and this shit is expensive. You guys know it. Hair, hair maintenance and hair upkeep and hair uh, treatments are expensive as fuck. So I was getting the keratin treatments um, every couple of months or so and I was doing that. And yeah, when I washed my hair, like the curls were not there anymore. It was just like, but it was so easy for me to manage. And sometimes I think we want to take shortcuts in our hair for those of us that have textured hair because it's just easy easy to do it's easy to do and we want the quick fix why well, know i did i want the quick fix i want it straight i will keep it straight i won't wash it for a week week and a half and i'll ride that bitch out till i can't anymore just because it's just so easy to just wake up and oh hair is done but there is a beauty such a beauty in curly hair in curls it's it's just beautiful right it's like we always want what we don't have, right? Those that have straight hair, they'll they'll use their little wand, they'll get perms, they want curly hair. They'll braid it, they'll do all those weird things that people are doing now with the sock and you braid it and then you wash it and you put this product in and you sleep with it and then you take it off in the morning, you have these beautiful curls. People with straight hair want curls and people with curls want straight hair because we have to deal with it every single fucking day. We have to detangle that bitch. Um, we have to care for it, right? I think some hair does require more care and that's the reality of it. But there is a beauty in both types of hairs. Not that there's just two, right? But I'm, when I say types, I'm saying curly versus straight. There's a beauty in all ranges of hair. Um, and we just have to learn how to care for it in order to properly appreciate it and properly be able to use it and wear it. So I had like those big traumatic, I would say not big, but those two major traumatic instances with my hair, both when it like locked up and uh, when my mom did the big chop for me. And then beyond that, like people would talk shit about my hair when I was a child. Um, and I think that out of all the things, I think that is what impacted me the most. You know, kids can be such fucking bullies and I was a bully at some point too, but I was also... I was a victim of bullying, right? So sometimes you do what you know um, and what you see gets a reaction or gets you the outcome that you want. And I'm not proud of that. I'm just, you know, being honest about that. Um, and even as an adult, I feel like I rem well, not as an adult, not in, well, no, I think sometimes at work as well as an adult, but even in high school, right? Not grade school, people would make fun of me. The girls would make fun of my hair. Um, I didn't know how to do my hair, but I was doing what made sense for me at that time. But I remember girls would talk shit about my hair and all you bitches that were talking shit, all you bald headed hopes, like, I'm, <laughs> this is a serious video. I'm not going to do that. But, um, yeah, I think that there was this idea that there is not was, there is still this idea that hair has to be put together edges have to be sleek your kitchen back here can't be curly can't be nappy there's like this stigma against nappy hair nappy quote unquote you can call it whatever you want right unkept un frizzy whatever the fuck you want to call it and sometimes i had nappy hair and so what like leave me alone but in in high school right that wasn't the thing like you should have nice hair you should have sleek hair or she has crazy hair, whatever you want to call it, that really fucked with me. I think the high school level really fucked with me because I'm just like, well, shit, let me just straighten this bitch every day, even if I'm burning off my ends, even if this shit's not healthy. My my fucking hair is growing, but it, I can't tell because I'm fucking passing that straight. I'm talking about passing that straightener multiple times on the same piece because I want to get it as straight as humanly possible because that is what society is saying is acceptable. The straighter your hair... The more it moves, the more acceptable it is. 
that's what I experienced in high school. Um, as I got older and I entered the professional sector, it seemed like that's what it was as well. I noticed that now more and more people are embracing their natural hair as they fucking should, right? Because it's like, who the fuck are you to tell me that I need to modify the way that I originally came into this world? If my hair is curly as fuck, if my hair is nappy, if it's wavy, if it's this, that, let me be who I am. Like, that's such a shitty thing to do to someone to make them feel like shit over something that is natu naturally makes them who they are. What a shitty human being do you have to be to make someone feel like shit because of that? So if you're doing that now and talking shit about someone's hair um, or that's like your thing, I'm letting you know you're a really shitty human and you really have to reflect on yourself and think about what is it about yourself that you dislike, that you feel so strongly that you want to hate on another person and their natural being in self. Um, so I'm still learning, right? Uh, right now, I stopped doing keratin treatments for a couple years. I don't do relaxers. Um, I will get my hair straightened every once in a while just because I really like how nicely straightened um, I get it at the salon. It's just like, it's nice to not do it yourself, number one. And number two, it's nice to not have to do shit to my hair for a little bit of time. So I do go get it straightened every once in a while. But I've really, really started um, embracing my natural hair now more than I ever have. And I'm really proud of myself for that. So now, and I would say within the last couple of months, honestly, that's why I prompt, what, that's what, that's part of what prompted me to want to do this video. Within the last couple of months, I can confidently say I have started washing my hair, putting in conditioner, and just letting it be letting it air. I may towel dry it a little bit. I may wring it a little bit, but still leaving some moisture just so it can naturally dry and just show my natural curls. And I've actually been able to leave my house like that and go to a restaurant or establishment just wearing my natural hair. Something that I promise you, I could never imagine or see myself doing just based off the shit that people would talk when I was in school and the like microaggressions that I've gotten from people both in work and in my personal life. Still to this day, the other day, I had my hair natural. I'm outside doing yard work, work with my little brother and my neighbor's like, oh, what happened to your hair? I think he said, did you, I think he might've said, did you stick your finger in an electrical socket? Mind you, I am a 30 year old grown ass woman and this man is 50 something. And I said, no, this is my natural hair. Motherfucker, you wish you weren't fucking balding and you didn't have that receding, ugly ass hairline, motherfucker. You wish you had as much hair as me. Like that's so disrespectful, but people will still talk shit to you and they don't realize how rude that is. Am I talking about your receding hairline? Am I not? Do you see me asking you, why don't you just shave that piece of shit hair that you have on top of your fucking head? No, because I'm not that type of person. But anyway, um, so currently I'm starting to wear it naturally more. Like I said, I'm getting my hair braided on Thursday. I will definitely do a video to show you guys my braids. I can't wait. Um, I'm going on vacation this coming Saturday. So I'll be in the Dominican Republic for a week. And I love getting my hair braided, especially when I'm in a hot climate and when I'm going to be, I just don't have time or don't want to make time to do my hair. So I get my hair braided. I love getting my hair braided. I get um, knotless box braids and I love them. I feel like a fucking goddess when I get my hair braided. Um, and I'm still, I'm also learning how do I take care of my hair when it is braided? The last time I got it braided, I was, I think it was in February, I went to Puerto Rico and, um, a lot of my hair fell out, you guys. And I think that I let it dry out. So I was watching YouTube videos and they're like, you have to keep it. One, you have to hydrate it and condition it before you get your hair done. But during your braids, you also have to keep it hydrated, oiled, and conditioned. I wasn't doing that. So this time, I'm going to watch more of your videos. And I'm going to make sure that I keep my hair properly moisturized and conditioned. Um, right now, some of my go-to styles. This is literally a go-to style for me, which is like, some of you would be like, okay, this is not a style. This is a style for me. It's literally in a tiny bun. And I just part it in the middle. This is not like a, I didn't really style it. I just did this quick for the video so I can look normal um, and not look crazy. But usually I make sure that my part is very clean, make sure everything is very sleek, and I put it in a small bun. I work in a professional environment. I try to be conservative. This is a quick go-to for me. If I'm running late, if my hair is dirty, fuck it, part it. 
uh, straighten this, put it back in a tight bun, and there, you look clean and put together. Um, and I don't have to do too much work to do this, right? It's like a quick go-to. I'll either do this, um, I will leave it straightened, I'll straighten it at home myself, um, I'll straighten it and flap it out, um, or I will just leave it curly entirely. And when I leave it curly, it's literally I'm washing it, I'm conditioning it, and leave, putting leave-in conditioner and putting some type of hair oil, um, crunch, scrunching it a bit, either towel drying it or just letting it sit. And then I'm just wearing it like that. I've worn it like that to work. I get so many compliments when I wear my natural hair. Um, I remember years back, like people asking me like, why don't you just leave your hair natural? And I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. But let me tell you, if you are someone that feels like you can't, you can do it. You can wear your hair naturally. I'm confident that your hair is gorgeous and that it's all in your head. And I want us to really eliminate and forget about all those stupid ass people and their stupid ass comments that they've made about our hair and just start wearing your hair naturally. It's so freeing. I talk about that in a lot of my videos, just how amazing it is to be free from the bullshit. Free yourself from the hair bullshit. Let your hair be natural. Let yourself be natural. I often don't wear a bra, right? If we get into clothing, like, just be you. It's okay. Be you. Accept yourself. Love yourself. Um, I'm getting kind of emotional, but yeah, I remember people asking me, like, just wear your hair natural. Why don't you just wear it? And I'm just like, bitch, because you guys would bully, not that person asking me, but it's like, bitch, because all these people would bully me when I was younger. That's why I don't wear it natural. But now I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. My hair is gorgeous. My hair is beautiful. I'm going to wear it down. I don't give a fuck how big it is. I don't give a fuck what you think about it. It's my hair. And I'm going to wear it naturally as much as I possibly want. Um, sometimes when I leave it natural, I may put it up in a like messy bun, uh, put out some curls. I may do a half a pony, half down. Um, it just depends. I may put it in a low pony, still part in the middle. Different things, right? There's different ways to wear our hair. And it's it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's timeless. Um, hair is like an accessory, right? You can do whatever you want with it. You can try different styles. I haven't gotten too into it because I, like I said, I'm still learning a lot, but, um, those are kind of the hairstyles that I've been going to lately. Um, some of the products that I've been using, I mean, I've used a lot of products over the time, but right now I'm sticking with mixed chicks. So I use their shampoo and conditioner. Their shampoo is cheaper. I think it's like $12, but the conditioner is like $20. And these bottles are like small they're small and square that's what i've been using right now i used to use the cantu products i bought them the other day a shampoo and a conditioner and it was whack as fuck i still have it in my house i'm so sorry cantu but it did not work for me so i'm sticking to mixed chicks if you guys have other products that you want to recommend below i know miel um i need to look into it i know at some point there was a shortage i've never tried it before um, there's the shea butter products, which I've used, I used one of them and I was like, this still seems like it's drying out my hair. At the end of the day, of course, there would be recommendations. If you have product recommendations, please drop them in the comments below. But what works for you may not work for me. What works for X, Y, and Z may not for work for V or whatever. You know what I mean? Like everyone's hair is different. You just got to try it. But mixed tricks is working for me. What I do notice is when I leave the leave-in conditioner, I do get product buildup a lot quicker and I fucking hate that shit because it's like if I just washed my hair three days ago, why do I have fucking product buildup? Like my hair should be able to be okay. So that's one thing that I noticed. Um, I feel super inspired when I watch different YouTube videos and I see all these different hairstyles that I could try and do. Um, I'm going to try to start exploring that a little bit more. Um, and it's so inspiring to go out with my natural hair and people be like your hair is so pretty your hair is so beautiful I think that just makes me even more comfortable to embrace my natural hair of course there are going to still be people that are uncomfortable and bothered by my natural hair and that's okay because I don't give a fuck um and what I want to do is I want to continue wearing my hair naturally like I want to continue um accepting my hair exactly the way it is and I think that as I'm doing that I notice that my hair is getting healthier. My hair is getting thicker. My hair is growing more because I'm not stressing it out so much with all this heat and without with all these products. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Let me know if there are products that you're using that you recommend that I use. Let me know if you've had similar experiences embracing your hair, if you've had microaggressions from employers, neighbors, family, friends, etc. I'd love to hear your thoughts and have a conversation in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.